Good evening. We are now at week 10 of Social Work 633. And first, let me remind everyone that if you are behind on any of your assignments, please take this opportunity to catch up before we get too much further into the semester. This week, we are talking about contextual family therapy. And contextual family therapy and social work involves such systemic aspects as family loyalty, family legacy, and the family ledger. These factors involve the nature of justice in family systems or the balance of give and take in family systems. And so the learning objectives for this week are to describe some key concepts of contextual family therapy and to describe typical intervention, interventions used in contextual family therapy. So there are a number of learning resources for this week. There are um, four different readings. And the Hibbs reading is one that would relate to the discussion post and the podcast for this week. And you're also asked to choose one of the following, but download all of the readings for future references. So the first resource for this week is an outline on contextual family therapy. So let's just go over a few of the concepts, but you will also see these concepts in your reading. So family legacy refers to loyalty expectations that are handed down from previous generations. The family justice system is the management of balances of give and take among family members. Loyalty refers to a child's early recognition that they have received parental care, no matter how imperfect, and the corresponding need over time to offer care to that person and try to meet their loyalty expectations. Entitlement, in terms of contextual family therapy, is a term used to describe what one is owed and from whom. A child's birth entitles them to claim caring from parents. A parent's investment in their child entitles them to have loyalty expectations for what the child owes them. And so two concepts under entitled are earned and entitlement is earned by providing consistent care and relationships, or it could be destructive. An expectation that a current relationship is expected to compensate for past injuries received from someone else. Ethical position, consequences of one, one person's decision and actions can affect the lives of all people significantly related to them. Indebtedness, a term used to describe what one owes and to whom. Loyalty conflicts, conflicts occur when one feels torn between the loyalty expectations of one person versus another. Multi-directed partiality is a clinical stance that therapists are accountable to everyone whose well-being is potentially affected by their intervention. Split loyalty occurs when parents create a situation in which a child must choose one parent for or against the other. And trustworthiness occurs when patterns of unfairness have been made explicit and then corrected. So those are some of the concepts under contextual family therapy. There is a website that's noted here and then media for this week is a podcast by Dr. B. Janet Hibbs. And you're only required to listen to the first 18 minutes. It's a, close to an hour long. So there are two assignments this week. The first is a discussion 
So your initial post is after you've gone through again that resource on contextual family therapy and looked at it more in depth. Um, you're to describe one of the ideas Hibbs discussed in the podcast that you believe will be helpful to you with future clients. Describe a situation with a past client where a loyalty conflict may have occurred. And then to describe a situation with a past client where issues related to destructive or low entitlement may have occurred. And there are additional questions for you to cover for your post. This is due by Thursday. And although you're required, you're not required to follow up with any of your peers, you can do so. So this is due by Thursday. And the other assignment is the family therapy theory grid, your group assignment. So your group this week is completing the space on the grid around contextual family therapy. So with that, I look forward to reading your assignments this week. If you have any questions, please email me as quickly as possible. Again, please catch up on your work because you do not want to wait to the last minute when grades are due and have a wonderful week.